Should you enter a fist fight, guards will not interfere. But join us. I am alive. But I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. And then you slept the sleep of the dead. Of the womb. That you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember, Altair, what it is the assassin fight for? In peace. In all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is! But you, my son, have not found inner peace. It manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? You do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you brought upon us. Malik thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brothers. But this would be a waste of my time and your talents. You'll see you have been stripped of your possessions. Your rank as well. You are a novice. A child once more. As you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. So you'd have me take a life? No. Not yet, at least. For now, you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. Others track your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish. It is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sable. One of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. Safety and peace, Altair. You're in my way. Yes, Al Mualim has asked that I assist you. Remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The Assassin have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket, or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market.
I know what I saw. Musun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I, I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? What letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. to the truth. We stand upon the threshold between this world and a new one, a better place where all might live as equals. But men like Al Mualim would see this dream destroyed. Two days attack was but the first, and more will follow unless you repent. Give up your wicked ways. Rise up against the madman of Masyaf. See through his lies. then. I have no interest in your games. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should too. Their cause is just. We? Jamal. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Muallam who will judge. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. You stand accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. 
My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent, to renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart, but truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. You did well, Altair, and have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills, their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test, then. What now? <laughs> oh, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the Crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Only where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. If you believe it best. I do. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Yeah! 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 
The work of a master. You must be busy. I understand. You must be busy. I understand. Don't toss your weapons around so carelessly. You won't often get a second chance to strike. are a socially acceptable way to reach a rooftop.
can create diversions with dead bodies. Soldiers will leave their posts to investigate them. See to it that we hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. This is an ill omen. For today only, I've decided to reduce prices on everything. Come, come. Come on, come on! I've much to sell! the one who's done this. Where are you?
Something caught your eye? Do you understand? Yes. I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. I like that in a custom. Odd. <laughs> Why would you do that? Could I interest you in this place? No? Well, there's more. Much more. Come, people. Come see what I do up. You won't believe your eyes. Take Joppa! There will be no time! 
wanted, I've got it. Did you see that? You, sir, you look like you need something. You'll find it here and show it. Something caught your eye? I'm telling you, it's rats. No, it's children. I hear them laughing. Rats or children? Either way, it's bad for business. All that noise! Someone needs to get up on those beams and clear them out. I wonder how they're getting up there. Must be through the central courtyard. Then we should ask the guard to have a look. Ah, they're all much too busy polishing the backside of their master. Thief. I'll have your hand for that! For today only! I've decided to reach no the reason to stand here, Lee! Come! 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 Another minute and they would have made off with me. Hmm. 
dirty thief. I'll have your hands for that. Why are you doing this to me? I've done nothing wrong. Dirty thief. I'll have your hands for that. Me. Saracen leader and his starving men. Most fortunate for them both, each having something the other wanted. None know the man better than I. I don't understand. Come close. Hear the tale I have to tell of a merchant prince without peer. And so Tamir left, riding north and wondering what would become of his supplies. For soon, we would sure spoil. That should have been the end of this tale and the poor man's life. But fate intended otherwise. It was just before Hadid, a Saracen from the and in desperate need of his supply. But there was no relief in sight. As Tamir drove his caravan north, he came across the Saracen leader and his starving men. Most fortunate for them both, each having something the other wanted. Some say, were it not for Tamir, Salahadin's men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. Quite a bit about Tamir. Tell me what he's planning. I know only the stories I tell, nothing more. A pity. There's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait! There is one thing. Continue. He is preoccupied as of late. He oversees the production of many, many weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah ad Din. This does not help me, which means it does not help you. No, stop! Listen! Not Salah Eddin. They're for someone else. The crests these arms bear, they are different, unfamiliar. It seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Is that all? Yes, yes. I've told you everything I know. Then it's time for you to rest. <laughs>
be no stopping him. He will march on Jerusalem next. We must end this before it has a chance to begin. That city is ours. So, how did you manage to do it? <laughs> oh, it wasn't easy, my friend. No, not at all. Cursed merchant caught me trying to steal from him. Called for help. I can't imagine the guards were pleased. At least a dozen of them appeared. All well armed and spoiling for a fight. What did you do? I ran over, under, and through the crowd. Knocked over a few stalls for good measure. But they kept coming. Then how did you escape? With a little help from my friends. What do you mean? There's a couple of my brothers who gather around the southeastern exit of the souk. They let me pass and then turned their attention towards the guards. Kept them distracted while I got away. Without their help, I wouldn't be here right now. But I say, this is an honor to die in service to God, fighting for what we believe in. There is no greater glory than this. I'll have your hand for that! Wait! I'll have your hand! and they would have made off with me. I owe you my freedom, sir. Oh, dear. What happened here? What, what, what happened? What? Who's done this? Tell me! This is terrible. What is she doing? Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Kill him! Wishes to die? He won't get away! Get him! I'm alive! 
Altair, it is good to see you, and in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the Mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. I trust you have searched the area to better understand your enemy. Yes. Here's what I've learned. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the single largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll have your hand for that! What have I done?
or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I asked in return was you fill the orders I bring you, and you say I ask too much? <laughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! Nice! No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. Some petty death dealer suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child.
has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is? Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry, I'm late. Yes, we are. back. We'll take care of the rest. 